So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Dasamsa video of the week and today we're going to be covering moon in the ninth house of Dasamsa chart as in what happens when moon is sitting in the ninth house of your D10 Dasamsa. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details for that, check out the links here, check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, the link to my academy, Magavitic Astrology Academy. So, a moon in the ninth house. So ninth house, as you know, in the Dasamsha specifically represents managers, the people who are in authoritative position behind the scenes. It also represents your mentors and teachers and counselors in your workspace. Because in life, certain people, let's say, may have a guru. They may have a family guru, a priest. Okay. But when it comes to D10 chart, it represents the actual person who helps you with their career. Now, if let's say you're a monk, okay, that means the ninth house of your Dasamsha will actually represent a priest, will represent some highly religious spiritual individual who will guide you in your spiritual path. But if let's say you're an IT individual, you're a doctor, you're an engineer, they'll represent the guide that you're supposed to get. So here, one thing you, you will see that this person is always emotionally connected with their mentors, teachers, and counselors. Like a person longs for it. Person wants it. See, wherever moon is, in any chart, main birth chart, individual chart, they will long for that particular thing, wherever they are. Or wherever it is placed. So in the 9,000 person is always looking and searching for a mentor that can counsel them and advise them and make them better at their work. Yet, one thing will happen with this moon in the ninth house is that they don't get along well with their um, co-workers. Co-workers where they'll find the karma with the particular moon. And the other thing we also see is that usually a person will enjoy traveling for their work. Like especially, um, not necessarily in terms of making any deal. That's not this particular moon. They want to travel to attend conferences. They want to travel to attain, you know, additional education that is happening in their career. Like, for example, I've always seen this. Whenever I go to some hotel, uh, you know, on a vacation or something, some conferences always happen. Some medical device conferences happening and you'll have like doctors coming in and all the professionals coming in. So at one time I saw, you know, like law conference happening. That's where they want to go. They love to mingle with those people in educational places related to work. And one of the things we also see is that this person will always find support from their professional network circles outside of their co-workers. People that they meet, people that they know from some other company to make a connection, they, they will find great success through such individuals. But moon in the ninth house also shows that eventually this person, the reason why they're looking and longing for a counselor, they themselves want to be a teacher at work. They want to emotionally connect with people and show them what they have learned, what they have done. And one of the things you will also see in the individual's chart, Whenever you need advice and you don't have a mentor or counselor related to your particular profession, seek the guidance of your mother. Just in conversation, ask your mother, so what would you do in this particular situation? You think I should do this? You shouldn't have to take this project. When she gives you advice, you will see that that advice will be equivalent to the mentor and teacher at work that they were going to give. So it's, a, it's overall a very beneficial position for an individual. Now, moon in the ninth house, can it show like permanent residency in a foreign land? No, not necessarily. No, it'll just show that the person will love traveling. Now, this can simply can mean one will travel within the country. If you're in India, you'll travel within India. If you're in the US, you'll just travel within the US. But there's no like permanent settlement. To some foreign place unless of course we're looking at the other birth charts other main charts in a person's horoscope okay 
So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Moon in the ninth house of your Dasamsha. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, Q&A tomorrow. So the Q&A that I asked, I'll make that video on it tomorrow. And also remember my course uh, on Magadha Astrology Academy is uh, also here with especially my cares vlogs where I'm adding certain technique videos. So anyway, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.